from denim to diamonds. It's not your typical event. Learn about the Cattle Baron's Ball coming up next on Carolina People. Good morning. Welcome to Carolina People. This morning we're at the Myrtle Beach Herald. We're focused on the second annual Cattle Barons Ball to benefit the American Cancer Society. And we're visiting with Chris Richardson, the marketing director for the gala. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. How are you? Thanks so much for coming in. I'm great. And this event's getting so close now. It is. It's October 22nd, so we are less than two months away at this point. Right. And Everything is going very well, and everyone on the committee is extremely excited about it. Oh, yeah. We have over 35 members on our committee right now, broken up into different yeah. groups. No, it's, it's absolutely wonderful to get everyone together uh, and, and work on it and go out in the community and try to put all their forces together into the American Cancer Society. Oh, yeah, Chris. I actually had lunch with Patty Hilton and Deb, uh, uh, Deborah Hessler mm -hmm. Black uh, right. not too long ago, maybe three months ago as they were prepping for the event. There was a lot going on at that time. They had a lot of thoughts. Right. But hadn't gotten everything together. And mm -hmm. so, of course, y'all's group, 35 folks, you said? Yes, about 35 total that uh, are on the committee. Right. How yes. exciting. It is very exciting. You know, it's very exciting to have something in the community like this that can help give back to Myrtle Beach and the surrounding areas of Horry County. And such, such a novel idea that's been around, I think, a little more than 30 years. But, of course, this is the first, uh, the second one in Horry County last year, also at Pine Lakes. Correct. This is the second event that we, that we are hosting. Uh, it has started in 1973 in Texas. Right. Uh, the first Cattle Barons Ball and several other communities throughout the U.S. have them on an annual basis. And this is our second annual. We're extremely excited about it. Uh, you know, it is a gala function, but it's very different from most galas that are out there. Right, right. Absolutely. Real quick about yourself, Chris. Are you originally from the area? I'm not. I'm originally from Somerville, which is right outside of Charleston, uh -huh. and have lived in uh, lived in the Myrtle Beach area for two years. We actually live in Conway, uh, my husband and I. Right. What what brought you to the area? Uh, my husband got transferred here uh, from, from Charleston. He works with Wells Fargo Financial and got transferred up here. Right. Okay, good. And, and you are currently with, uh, am I correct, Grand Strand Urology? Correct. I'm the executive director at Grand Strand Urology and wonderful staff and great physicians there. It's a wonderful place to be. Lots going on there as well. Oh, yeah. What are the primary duties as the executive director? Um, primary duties. Yeah, excuse me. What are a few of the I, You've got a lot. I, I know I a over, lot of hats. I oversee uh, pretty much all of the operations, anything from day-to-day -to, -day to strategic planning uh, with the organization. I also oversee all human resources uh, in conjunction with physicians, depending on which committee they're on. Mm -hmm. We also have a surgery center that is located uh, next door to our building on 82nd Parkway, and then we do clinical research trials, which we're very, very proud of uh, all the research trials that we have going on right now. Is that right? Grand Strand Urology is doing clinical research trials right now. We are. We have over 16 that uh, are open to patients enrolling and very good staff that works very diligently at trying to make sure that those patients are staying with on protocol and the staff at the surgery center and at our practice as well. Uh, just wonderful, wonderful people and patients are number one when they come in the door. How exciting, Chris. That must be a good feeling, knowing that that's going on right next door and to be a part mm -hmm. of that. If a viewer wanted to learn a little bit about that, some of those clinical trials going on, mm -hmm. could they go to y'all's website or give you a call about that? They could give us a call. Um, our phone number is 449-1010. Okay. We have offices in uh, Myrtle Beach. We have one in Surfside. We also have one in Little River. So we have offices all over that make it more convenient for patients to get to us. Yeah, and your GrandStrandNeurology.com website was a great looking site. A lot of very critical information on there. I know there's, as you said, y'all are updating it right now, but some really critical stuff on there that lays out some of that about the trials and obviously some of the commitment y'all are doing in the community. Yes, and I think that we have some of the cutting edge equipment and treatments um, for anything from prostate cancer to kidney stones. You know, someone with a kidney stone doesn't have to go to an emergency room. They can call uh, our office and we can typically go ahead and treat them and uh, have medication for pain and everything else to treat the patient at that point versus having to go to an ER and wait for 
um, you know, a while to be seen. Sometimes the ERs get backed up as well. Right, right. Think about that experience. Had you had experience with urologists prior to joining Grand Strand Urology? Not in the urology field, no. I was uh, in hospital administration uh, before coming to the practice side. Did you study hospital administration? I did at MUSC uh, for graduate school at the Medical University in Charleston. Great. When folks think of hospital ad ad administration, of course, there's so many facets of that that there go are. into hospital administration, so many avenues mm -hmm. you can go. What, had, had you always thought about being in a position like this? Um, I don't think I had. I think that the biggest, the biggest aspect of it is getting an opportunity like that and you know, learning from it. And I think if there weren't the physicians at Grand Strain Urology that are there to be able to help and uh, utilize resources that are in the community and also do continuing ed with everyone in the practice. Right, right. So there's a heck of a lot of that there going is. on. There is. There's mm -hmm. an awful lot. So you had been down, growing up, you said, in Somerville. So you had yes. stayed in the low country after, after college and come back to the low country. Yes, I have. I uh, went to the University of South Carolina and then went back to Charleston for graduate school. Right, right. Do you still have family in that area? I do. I do. Um, all of my family lives there, actually, uh, mm -hmm. now, except for my husband and I are the right. only ones that have moved away. Well, straight away. We of have. Course, whether it's Wells Fargo or Grand Strand Urology, I'm sure... Uh, your folks or family likes to come visit you all up here. They do. They do. And we enjoy having visitors as well. Mm -hmm. Chris, what, what do you think prompted your interest in uh, your active volunteer work with the American Heart Cancer Society? I think the American Cancer Society can do so much for the community. And I found that out when, actually, when I was an undergraduate uh, at the University of South Carolina, I worked, uh, volunteered, not worked, in the bone marrow transplant unit at Palmetto Richland. And I dealt with pediatrics at the time and really just we did play therapy and things to help the children understand what they were going through you know cancer does not affect just people that are you know over 40 cancer affects everybody of all ages and during my volunteer time there i lost uh, i say i lost because i treated them just like they were my own two children within three weeks and mm -hmm. that's extremely difficult to do when you spend you know weeks to months at a time with them playing and developing therapy needs uh, mm -hmm. with those individuals and ever since that point anything that i can do to give forth time and effort and energy to helping organize things to raise money for cancer is, is extremely important to me that's very important a lot of folks who work for a charity oftentimes aren't able to see the impact of what those funds are being used for the ability to work with the american cancer mm -hmm. society much like some other groups in the area, when you think of the March of Dimes, for instance, or the American Art Association, or the American Red Cross, that ability to really see where those funds are being utilized and to know that you experience that with some of the pediatric uh, patients there at, Correct. at Richland having lost their lives. Mm -hmm. My God, what an impact. It's very touching, and you know, almost everyone knows someone, whether it's your family, your neighbor, um, a co-worker, you know somebody that has been affected by cancer. Um, if not yourself, and it's it's extremely frightening. It's extremely touching. You know, when and when you don't know who to go to, you don't know right. who to call. Uh, the American Cancer Society is always someone to turn to. They do things, try to give back to the community. Not only does the funds go to the community, they also go to national research, which is mm -hmm. extremely important um, to further the research along. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talk about some of the activities that happen in the area. Obviously, our prime focus is on the big event in late October for the, the Cattle Barons Ball, but what are some of the other things that happen in the community with the American Cancer Society? Um, there's a peer-to-peer -peer group that pe women with breast cancer, um, breast cancer survivors, can actually talk to other women, help them through their situation, help them understand what's going on, what's happened. Uh, it's very difficult for someone to talk and try to explain what's going to happen if they've never been through it. Right. And that's you know, that's pivotal to someone that has just recently been diagnosed or someone that's undergoing treatment. Mm -hmm. The other thing that uh, the American Cancer Society does in this area is you know, they offer services to women to help regain self-confidence while they're going through treatment. There's licensed cosmetologists that come in, teach you how to apply makeup. Um, when you're going through therapies, your skin tone changes and uh, also help you learn how to, you know, style your wigs and put those on appropriately. Mm -hmm. and. There's a lot that's involved in it, but the biggest thing is helping the self-confidence of these patients that are having to go through such life-changing treatments and therapies and really gives them an outlet of uh, somewhere to go and someone to talk to. 
like I was aware of those peer-to-peer -peer groups locally. Mm -hmm. And, the, and would, would there be similar things, of course, you're speaking to a lot of women right now, but would there be similar things for men? There are quite a few men yes. affected by prostate cancer. Of course, that's something that uh, is primarily internal, albeit uh, surely some issues there. Mm -hmm. There's actually a prostate um, cancer awareness group, a support group that goes on locally. That uh, you, Even at our office at Grand Strain Urology, we have um, information on. They contacted us. Uh, but prostate cancer is, you know, it's extremely important, mm -hmm. uh, and the numbers continue to rise on uh, cancer patients. Mm -hmm. But there's more information if you call the local cancer uh, cancer society office. They can always give you more information of services out there. That's the 843-213-0333 number. Correct. That's the same number you'd want to call if you wanted to donate uh, mm -hmm. some auction items yep. for the uh, Cattle Barons Ball, if you wanted to buy a ticket or buy a table. Are they, are they being sold by tables? Um, they are not. Or there's this, not. There's no tables. That's right. It's a big, yeah. This gala is extremely different from yes. your regular galas. Forgive me. This, that's right. Uh, this gala is from anywhere from denim to diamonds. Yes. Uh, people wear formal dresses with cowboy boots mm -hmm. to tuxes with hats um, to, you know, colorful western wear. It, it is extremely different. The other thing is this is... We have a band. We have um, some other entertainment for the evening planned. There's something called butt sketchers. I'm not sure if you're familiar with this no, or not. No, fill us in. Uh, but there is an artist that comes in and that you actually are turned to your back, uh, and he gets a side profile sketch of you and sketches the back side of you as well. Wow. Um, and it sounds very different, but it is yeah. extremely unique, and it, it's very neat. Do people uh, take part in that? I mean, is that there a... was a line, and people were disappointed last year when he left. You're kidding. Uh, he could not stay as long as everyone would have wanted to utilize his services. We also have a mechanical bull, so anyone that's interested in riding the mechanical bull for the evening, and that's always an exciting uh, time as well. Right. We have silent auction, and we also have a live auction. Uh, this year, we have donated to us a ranch in Colorado, and it is the only four-star dude ranch that is in the United States. Um, really? We have a week there for a family of four that's been donated that will be in the auction as well. Wow. Um, and we have a week at another ranch. You know, we have anything, various trips to dinners around the area, to dinners that are in Charleston or Charlotte. Uh, it's, it's extremely exciting. And definitely welcome more items to be auctioned as well as corporate sponsorships at this point. Sure, so there are some opportunities for corporate yes. sponsors. Yes. What would, a, uh, what would a company want to do, or what, what, could, what, what are some of the benefits that a company would receive by, by being a sponsor? Well, they get tickets to the event, depending on what level they sponsor at. Mm -hmm. um, their name, names also will appear in the program for the evening. They'll be announced throughout the evening as well, mm -hmm. um, again, depending on what level that they give at. Uh, they will definitely have recognition throughout the year from the American Cancer Society mm -hmm. you know, for contributing to the Cattle Barons Ball. Sure, that's a that's a vital component, of course, as you said. So there's not sit-down tables, for instance. There is instead. What would the food be uh, for the evening there at Pine Lakes? Well, there are definitely hors d'oeuvres, um, and we have you know a wide variety of food to offer uh, that night. And there are tables you can sit down and eat at. Oh, there. Okay, it's yeah. Not, forgive me, right? But, it, but it's not a not a sign um, table. Correct. It's right. not going to be a formal you know a formal sit-down dinner. But that sometimes makes it a little more exciting as well. Yeah, yeah. And having on a Friday night from 7 to midnight, of Correct. course, Pine Lakes Country Club, they've done such an upfitting job, an it amazing is, renovation there. It is, is it absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. And it is going to make the event just that much more uh, appealing for us to help, you know, bring items in and to set up for the event. It's, it's, we're real excited about it. Right, and the great aspect there from a 7 to midnight event, and the tickets, I think, are $100? They are, $100. So you really piece. break that down, 20 mm -hmm. bucks an hour. That's right. The opportunity to, to ride the mechanical bull, and, of course, we think of Bill Bogacci's wife, Tweed, there on the mechanical bull. There was a great shot of her in the Herald last year, or maybe in the Sun News. A great, great shot, as well as uh, the, the butt sketchers. Yes. I don't know if I'd be wanting to take a part <laughs> of that, but you must, yeah, as you said, big line. It definitely is. It is an exciting time for all to be had. Right. I think, you know, some, some of our uh, event chairs this year, it's extremely exciting for them as well. Patty Hilton yeah. um, and Billy Alford are our co-chairs this year oh, for, the, great. for the event. So it's very exciting for them to get involved and uh, for us to have, you know, people from the community give back their time for this oh, event. yeah, Patty and Billy just spend so much time. I saw Patty a couple of weeks ago at the Northern Beach Aquatic and Fitness Center. Uh -huh. They're 
They're red, white, and blue ball. And of course, Billy and Danny are real active with the March of Dimes and their real estate breakfast. It's amazing the commitment that some folks are able to find the time. That's right. It's all about giving back to the community that, you know, has given all of us so much. If for a viewer who's who would go to, let's say, galas or used to sit down events and hear in a band or otherwise. Of course, you said there's a band, but break down those five hours, the seven to midnight. If they were thinking about doing it for the first time, if they missed the Cattle Barons Ball last year, just break down, uh, if you wouldn't mind sharing what the evening will be like. Well, you definitely don't want to be too late for the uh, for the evening. You know, fashionably late is not going to be. Uh, the good thing here, just because you want to be able to get in on the silent auction items. Right. Uh, so you have plenty of time to walk around and see all of those items as well. The Charlie Floyd Band is the band that's actually performing, right. uh, which adds that country flair to the whole event of being a cattle barons event. Yeah. So that's pretty exciting as well. There are different activities that are planned through the night. Um, you know, we hope to have some other people from the community help do some MC events, uh, mm -hmm. you know, different items for us. Then we also have a live auction that's going to be taking place, and that's where some of these very exciting trips and packages will be auctioned off at that point. Right. Uh, you know, the food and um, beverages will be available throughout the night as well. Wow. So there could just a heck of a lot. As you said, breaking down that evening, they really need to be there from the get-go to be they able sure to experience the, both the silent and live auction. You said that four-star ranch is where? It's in Colorado. Golly. Yeah. It's very exciting. Very exciting. We have um, packages for the Carolina Panthers uh, put together for the auction. Mm -hmm. There, are, you know, like I said, dinners all over for different trips. It's, it's a very exciting event. Are there some other folks within Grand Strand Urology involved in this year's uh, Cattle Barons Ball? There are actually. Um, Dr. Bill Bagacci is on the committee as, as well as Stacy Harrelson, who is our auction chair. Mm -hmm. um, Stacy Harrelson's in the research department. Great, the auction chair. So she'll be over both the live and the silent auction. Correct. A lot going on there. She does. Very busy. That's such a big component of all the events for charitable events in the mm -hmm. area, those uh, live and silent auctions. Yes. She is doing a wonderful job. Um, she's got a great team of people on her committee that have been going out to businesses and retailers in the Myrtle Beach area, not just really Myrtle Beach, anywhere from the north end uh, of Little River to right. Conway, all the way down to Polly's Island, sure. uh, getting getting things for the auction. To Colorado, yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's a big deal. How about some of the other folks working with you on the marketing committee? There must be a lot of folks interested in getting the word out about it. There are, and I think that so much of it is, is people just, all of us getting together and um, having the time to give back as far as developing um, the press releases. To, later today, we also have a press conference scheduled at Pine Lakes, um, which is very exciting that we can help get the word out even more. That's right, this morning at 9, I think. Yes, is it 8 do. or 9? It's at 9. nine. Yes. Good, so in an hour and a half. Well, that'll be very exciting. You know, you think about so many of the activities, and that peer to peer is so important when you're talking about whether it's breast cancer, or of course, those opportunities for men who've experienced prostate cancer to mm -hmm. find someone else in the community, much like your experience in working with the pediatric patients there in Richland. Yes. Uh, if, a, if a viewer didn't know exactly what to do or, or how to get involved, with the Cancer Society office has got a, they've got some folks there who can open those doors? Yes. Leslie Yan um, Yancey is actually the income manager and community manager um, and also helping head up the Cattle Barons Ball. She is our contact. and. She can be reached at the American Cancer Society office here in Myrtle Beach. Okay. What are some of the things you all really need for, for the Cattle Barons Ball? Are there some, uh, you talked about some auction items that folks could donate. Mm -hmm. Are there some other big needs right now? Um, well, we, we have all kinds of items that people can donate. One thing that some people have found that they want to do is help cover the cost of things like the band, okay. help cover the cost for um, the butt sketcher. Uh, mm -hmm. There are different opportunities as far as things that we already have lined up that they want their money to go towards covering those costs versus just going um, for the event itself. Okay. And obviously everything that once every cost is covered, everything above and beyond goes to the American Cancer Society. Right. Chris, are there any needs for volunteers? Are you aware of any needs for volunteers? And what, what are some of the needs that could be uh, accomplished that evening or leading up to it? Um, we always want volunteers. The more the merrier. We would take more people on the committee right now right. Uh, just you know, to help get the word out as well, help sell tickets. Uh, we'll take people to help decorate the day of. You know, on a Friday, October 22nd, we're going to be extremely busy turning Pine Lakes into the Cattle Barons Ball uh, event of the centuries, you know, our goal. Right. Uh, the, you know, we're going to need people to help clean up. 
We're going to need people during the live auction as spotters to be able to see, uh, hopefully, when everyone's raising their hands for those wonderful auction items that we have. Right, right. Now, where, where is it? Now, did you attend last year, Chris? Actually, I did not. I was you out of town. Last I year. did. I'm sure. extremely disappointed that I had to miss that, but I have seen wonderful pictures and heard mm -hmm. nothing but great things mm -hmm. about it. And, made me that much more excited about being involved this year. Very definitely. When you talk about that auction uh, and having it spread out, I was just wondering where they would have that spread out there at Pine Lakes, where the auction would take place. You're probably not even sure just yet exactly how you're going to lay out the facility other than making it the uh, event of the century. Well, we are working on logistics at this point still. Um, I believe that there are a couple of rooms, and we also have a big tent that will be set up outside uh, to help move some of the things outside to provide more room and space for everything. Mm -hmm think about an event like that and so much of the activity that goes in you laid out some of the great volunteer activities yes of some of the activities that volunteers mm -hmm. could could truly be a part of uh, surely if, if, if they can't attend it as a, as a guest are also donation opportunities there most certainly are anything that um, someone that has that they can donate from a retail store from um, a restaurant or anything that someone has that they would like to donate for any of the silent or live auctions or any corporate uh, sponsorship, you know, we still have those available as well. The same phone number for Leslie over at the 843-213-0333. Yes. Folks who get in touch. You know, when you think about for yourself having studied hospital administration, and obviously now being the executive director there at Grand Strand Urology, what do you think continues to keep you so motivated? Is it, Was it the old experiences back in when you were in college? I think it's also the experiences I see every day. Um, the things that our office that I see, the patients that have prostate cancer, the patients that have uh, bladder cancer, and you know the outcomes that you have. You see patients that have very good outcomes, and um, it's just very promising to be a part of it and to try to help them progress in their health care as well. It's, mm -hmm. it's just extremely important to be a part of all of this for me. Can you share with viewers? You know, of course, so many, so many of our viewers may not have a familiarity exactly how. I know we talked a little bit about about that before we started Grand Strand Urology and of course the focus of the American Gans Society. The Grand Strand Urology, what all y'all impact, of course you touched on the clinical trials going on, y'all's amazing facilities and multi locations. But uh, what I mean this is almost exclusively focused on men. Um, we do quite a bit for females as well. You know, we do female um, deal with female incontinence. Uh, we do a wide variety of, of female issues. And we have, there's a lot of treatments out there available now to help with female incontinence. We have, our physicians are very well trained. They continue to go away for continued education to make sure that they can deliver the most cutting edge technology and care for these patients. But our, our patients range from pediatrics, you know, up to patients in their 90s of, you know, both sexes, male and female. It's very exciting. That is, and of course, with the, the the skill of a group that's been around a little more than two decades now. Correct. You said Bill bogacci has been there quite a while. He, he has. He's been in the Myrtle Beach area practicing. Um, we have Dr. Kenneth Krasiniak and Dr. Neil Shore, and, uh, Dr. Richard Young, and then Dr. Brian Roberts. So it's a Five doctors. We do. Very, wow. very exciting group of men. Got a very large staff there. We do. We have a very large staff. They're all extremely wonderful. Um, one thing that we tried to pride ourselves on is continuing uh, for them to make sure that they are to their best knowledge as well. Definitely. Chris, thanks so much for being with us this morning. This has been a treat. Well, thank you. Um, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Stay tuned to more Carolina People with Chris Richardson coming up next. mission statement for the American Cancer Society is huge, but four critical words jump out, dedicated to eliminating cancer. You think of events like the annual, now second annual, Cattle Baron's Ball, kicked off last year at Pine Lakes Country Club, huge success. Whether it's mechanical bulls or butt sketchers, I mean, how crazy can you get? But five hours of fun, five hours of fun. That phone number was simple, 843-213. 0333. Of course, $100 a ticket. Still a lot of sponsorship opportunities available. The night, Friday, October 22nd, 
Pine Lakes International Country Club. They've done a ton of fitting it. Last year was a nice place. Now it's incredible. You heard Chris say it. Beautiful. Key word. 843-213-0333. Give them a call. That dedication to eliminating cancer is real. It happens in kids. It happens in 90-year-olds. You can be involved.